Hi there, in this last of our video series, Jo from um, Tra Travel Counsellors has joined me again. I'm going to talk about packing tips, so physically packing your case this time, which is a hassle. Yes, I'm often asked because obviously we're looking at trying to get everything, especially for your weekend break, in your hand luggage bag so that you don't have to wait for your luggage at the other end. So a few little tips that I'm going to share um, with you. Number one is I find that rolling clothes works better than um, stacking them in piles. And it also means you can see them clearly. And in fact, if I'm honest, I do this in my own wardrobe always anyway. So um, my, my camisole drawer and my long t-shirt drawer, these sorts of things are all rolled so I can see the colours laid out. So it's a very good idea to do it for packing. Okay. So if we have a look, just one quick t-shirt here. So it's just standard t-shirt. Um, all you would do is if you lay it down, on the floor or wherever you're getting ready, uh, fold in either side, which I'm sure you do normally, um, make sure the um, top is sorted and literally just fold it. And as small a sort of thinner sausage as you can make it really is the idea. Um, and you end up with a little sausage like that, which then fits really easily into any of your you know, compartments within your case. So you can imagine lots of those. So I've got my um, camisoles, which I often take a number of. So there's four here, you can see take up no space because they're all really little so you can just cram them in to the outsides of the case or wherever you want to put them so that's number one is folding okay uh, number two is in terms of footwear so ideally wear the chunkiest heaviest shoes you've got so that then you don't have to put them in your case yeah. um, but if you did have to put something in that's um, like this it's a covered shoe you can always put something like your underwear or whatever in the actual shoe itself so it's suddenly, you know, it's still a shoe, it still takes up same space, but you've got your, um, you know, your pants or bras, whatever, in, inside it instead. And then put that towards the outside of the case so that the heel of the shoe or the sole of the shoe sticks at the outside. If you've got like this where you've got ridges in it, it works quite well, so it fits the space quite easily. It's quite often I find you get a bit of space around the outside, so it's yes. wasted space, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so you definitely yeah. use your shoes to go around the outside would be my um, top tip. Um, and then if we think about other things that you're going to take with you, so if we think about packing um, accessories, I uh, mentioned this on a couple of the videos, but if you take your sunglasses case, you can fit lots of um, jewellery and things inside the sunglasses case. So you could have your necklaces and your earrings or whatever inside there. Or some, some people prefer, I'll just show you quickly the one over here, um, you can have a jewellery case. So this one here I've had for ages and you can just fit your um, necklaces in there. You've got a little compartment for your... Very neat. Yeah, for yeah. your... Um, earrings and things like that so something like that again it's all in one place so you know exactly where everything is yeah so that's an alternative if you wanted to do that and then a couple of other little tips um, if we take a, a wash bag so just one wash bag uh, this one's got a little hanger on it so when I get there I can you know hang it up and it's got three compartments in it um, I always take the reusable containers for your shampoo and conditioner so you de decant everything into those before you go so you're not taking your big ones that you might have in your shower at home so everything then fits within um, the just one wash bag and again that just fits into your case that's often heavy so I would probably put that towards the bottom of the case where the wheels are just in terms of making it sort of easier to carry um, and then if you're taking your sun cream and things like that, um, somebody mentioned to me the other day, which I think is a much better idea actually, is to buy it when you've gone through security so that you're the other side, so that it's not in your case at the beginning, but then you add it in when you get the other side of the airport and then you haven't got to worry about packing it in the first place. And then you can buy a smaller one that you use and then if you've used it up, you can you know, dispose of it before you come back again and you haven't got to put it back in the case to bring it home again. So that's probably what I would do in terms of... Um, yeah, that's a, that's a great... A great tip because also if you're um, if you're flying later on in the evening and you've left a suitcase and you're still wearing your sightseeing clothes or whatever yeah. and then you get to the airport and you want to change I quite often have um, because I have all my luggage with me build my bag through security and then once I've got to the other side done a quick change to put your comfortable clothes back on to travel in yeah. and then repatch your your day clothes yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's basically just using the space as much as you can and thinking about what you do and don't need to have with you and in there or not. You know, finding find the products the other side is a really good idea rather than putting them in your case. So all of those kind of tips, but rolling would be my top tip in terms of folding clothes because things like dresses can get really, really creased. So if you roll them, they're less creased when you get there. Honestly, it makes, from my perspective, I would say that's a much better idea than folding. So rolling, think about where you put your shoes and use that space inside your yep. shoes for tucking all the little bits and pieces. Worth investing in a bag to put your accessories in. Yep. 
Um, and also make sure you use your refillable yeah, small size or travel size, which you can get, I think, in most chemistry. You can, yeah. yeah. So you don't, yeah, you don't have to you know, spend the earth on them. And then you've got them forever, haven't you? Once you've yeah. bought them once, they use and use again. So Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you, Kerry. So if you want some more advice on um, not just travel tips, but, but generally um, style advice, um, go to kerryellis.co.uk. And if you want to talk travel, Joe is the expert. So go to joetolbert.com. No, I'm going to get it wrong again. Oh, Joe Talbot <laughs> at mytc.com. <laughs> I will get it right one of these times. Sorry, everybody got that quite clearly. There you go. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks. Take care now. Bye. Bye.